so um hello guys so it pretty much never occurred to me that i uh, that, that like I've, I've pretty much never made a video on how you should learn linux like how to do all the stuff that i do on my channel and one of the things that also one more thing i want to thank all of you for 206 subscribers or 200 subs it really means a lot to me especially since i'm taking this channel more seriously as time goes on and time goes by um i'm recording this a bit late at night but it doesn't matter the thing that matters is that i finally get to make this video that i've been doing a while now for a while and uh it's actually about how how you should like learn linux and what you can do like what sources to use and what other things you can do um, so uh one of the things that you will come across when you search for a problem on linux you will most likely uh look it up online if there is something you can do uh, a lot of people just type in linux uh, into youtube and just look at a bunch of videos relating to linux which is a viable option uh, don't get me wrong it is a really good option if you want to learn a lot about linux like configuring your ssds and such or how to configure your hard drives and believe it or not a lot of the stuff that i am able to teach a lot of you guys was actually learned from uh, youtube from watching youtube videos and looking at other places on the internet you know just by using youtube videos you can learn a lot but it's not the only source of knowledge you can get let's say hypothetically you have a problem that you're trying to solve and it's it's a problem that hasn't been covered in a video or it's a problem you weren't able to you know figure out on your own on your own so another thing you can do is instead of looking at youtube videos you could do a google search and such but there's another thing and i'm sure quite a few of you who are starting with linux have come across this are various kinds of forums so for example the ubuntu forums are one of the i'm not saying the best but one of the most covered ones because a lot of people come across them for their first time and they do not know how to work with it properly they're like okay i searched this error and it came up with this and there's a bunch of other things i actually forgot to add another source how could i forget that uh, the arch forums a treasure trove of information uh so yeah so the ubuntu forums are good enough you can definitely learn a lot about ubuntu based distributions from here and uh, one of the cool things is since a lot of people start off using with ubuntu most of the errors that you come across during your first hours of linux um if you come across an error or a message you don't know what it means uh, what will happen is it will pretty much you know you will most likely be pointed to the ubuntu forums as the first place you know there's a lot of things you can learn visiting these sorts of forums you can look up special pieces of software to make videos about that's actually one of the reasons why i made the video today about the king james bible i came across it across a on the arch linux forum post and i was like oh this is really cool so I looked online, somebody already made a few videos, I was like, okay, let's just make my own rendition of it, and that's how the video came to be. So uh, pretty much a lot of things, like, you know, you can have like development and programming, gaming and leisure, System76 support, wine, virtualization, there's a lot of things, you know, you can do. And, um, you know, the Ubuntu forums are a good source, but they're far from the best, but they certainly aren't the best bad solution another one you may come across are the linux mint forums so a lot of people are actually using linux mint now or a linux mint based distro uh, when it comes to linux mint a lot of my friends that i know personally when they wanted to use linux a bit more professionally i pointed them towards using linux mint instead of for example manjaro and such because manjaro is a neat distribution and it's beginner friendly nowadays but back then it really wasn't it was like a one of these like one of a kind distributions that is fairly easy to install but fairly hard to use nowadays it's not the case anymore so again linux mint forums are a really solid place 
if you want to come up if you come across a certain problem with your mint environment like your cinnamon environment or your meta environment pretty much if you're running a linux mint distribution you should be using the linux mint forums which is a really good and solid um, choice then we have the linuxquestions.org forum page so the linuxquestions.org is as they mention is where linux users come for help which if you had a question you will most likely about 90 percent of the time be pointed here or to the ubuntu forums as i mentioned but a lot of the times i find myself landing on this page in particular because a lot of people actually ask questions here on this forum and a lot of questions were here solved aside from one forum i will mention it later in the video along with another one i haven't opened it yet um <laughs> So pretty much a really cool thing about the linuxquestions.org website is you could pretty much search for any kind of problem you have. There's a lot of things like they point you to certain like uh, websites like distro reviews, book reviews, downloading Linux, the Linux wiki and a bunch of and Linux tutorials and a bunch of things. But here's a subsection on the Linux question Linux question linuxquestions.org and that's the Linux forum. If you click this, it will send you to, you guessed it, the exact same page, because this is the main page. And if you scroll down, you'll notice there's a ton of posts related to Linux servers in terms of security, laptops and netbooks, in terms of hardware, software, and for a Linux newbie. There's a ton of things, a lot of threads have been generated so far, a ton of posts have been posted, and these are in order, well not in order, but in order of importance I would say. So that's a really solid place if you're looking for any kind of solutions. Then there's one that hasn't been visited as much, but sometimes I end up, or a lot of people end up on this page. It's the linux.org forums. Uh, Linux.org forums are another fairly solid choice, not as great as the last two ones I'll mention, especially the very last one, but um, again, you can pretty much learn everything related to Linux networking, desktop environments, the X is for the X windowing system, I will make a video about the X video system in the future, actually let me know if you want to see that. It will really be good and a, a good thing to know and also if you want to see a video about how you can get proficient with the command line i would like to make a video about that anywho so you have about linux networking desktop environments linux gaming that's also a really good thread you can learn certainly a lot about gaming under linux which i have done but I haven't done any videos about it, I don't even plan on doing that. Because it's a side activity, a side hustle, you know, it's not related to the main channel at all. Now they have about Linux security, general computing, and they have server Linux, like setting up a mail server, web server, you know, a bunch of stuff here, and a lot of people passionate about Linux. There's a lot of tutorials and of topic stuff, but it's still related to Linux. So if you are interested in learning about Linux a lot more, I would highly suggest that you go ahead and look at this page. If you are starting out, make sure to check out the Ubuntu forums or the Mint forums or the LinuxQuestions.org forums. It depends on you. Most likely you will end up on this page anyway. So forums are a really good place if you want to learn how to do stuff. Another place that hasn't been actually talked about much lately at all and hasn't been visited as much are the Linux Foundation forums. Now the Linux Foundation forums page is a bit of a tough one. You see, the Linux Foundation is pretty much the head of all of things related to Linux. They manage the GNU standards and such. And you, you see, not a lot of people like this forum page. From what I was able to see, there are certainly not as many people active on this forum page. So if you come across this, it's it's good for certain things, but it's not as good for a bunch of other things that you might be able to learn. But a lot of people still ask questions, but it, again, if you're looking for a certain thing and it's not on all the other ones, it will be either here or most likely on the last page. There's however one more I haven't opened yet, and it's the... Manjaro forums. You have actually seen me talk about the Manjaro forums before. I've mentioned them in in uh, the 
uh, what was the video about yeah the y major is for everyone even brainlets video which is actually really popular right now that's amazing thanks for that anyway so the manjaro forms page is pretty much a almost as good forum page compared to the last one i have on the list and you can pretty much learn a lot of things on the Manjaro forums page. The Manjaro forums are a really good source of information if you're learning about Manjaro Linux. They have a lot of topics related to ARM, contributions, languages, development, support, desktops and window managers. I will actually, actually also let me know if you want to see a video about differences between desktop environments and window managers or how they correlate essentially i would like to make a video about that as well and um yeah you can pretty much ask any question related to manjaro linux and there will most likely be someone who will be willing to help you with your problem because the one thing you you're, you actually have to remember is that the linux community is actually a really cool community a community of really cool people that are willing to help you know and the very last one, and it's pretty much the Bible of Linux, if you will, is the Arch Linux forums. So the Arch Linux forums are a really amazing place when it comes to troubleshooting pretty much any problem on Linux. Most likely there will be someone online ready to help you. Uh, as you can see, a ton of guests are online right now and the newest registered user is here. But one really cool thing is that if you come across any issue related to either laptops or kernel and hardware or desktop environments, you'll be able to find a solution because if you look at the topics count, it's not as high as any of the others. But here is the difference between all of the others in this list. This information is highly technical and high quality most of the time. There are some exceptions, of course. But whenever I came across an issue, the Arch Linux forums came in clutch. <laughs> I'm not even joking. A lot of people actually ask a lot of things related outside of Arch Linux on this page as well, which goes to show how popular the Arch Linux forums are. You know, as I mentioned, they're pretty much the Bible of Linux and pretty much everyone who uses Linux and is a Linux power user has to have that bookmark. Now, I don't have it bookmarked because I, you know, am able to quickly look it up and quickly look things up here. But again, um, if you want a really good source of learning something, or reading up online all these methods are online if you're running windows you can look it up look things up on the internet look at youtube videos that's all what you can do you can learn ahead now all of this is fine and dandy but there's one more there's, well there's actually two more things the, the almost last one i will mention is running linux in a virtual machine so let's imagine the following situ situation. Let's say, hypothetically, I'm running Windows. Yes, I know it's a stretch, but hear me out. Let's say I'm running Windows and you want to learn Linux. The one thing you can do is you can set up a virtual machine. And I actually did this on the very first episode of Linux for Noobs. So I will point you to that episode down in the description if I remember to put it there. If I don't, you can look it up. It's one of the first videos about Linux for Noobs. I show you how you can set up a virtual machine. I think I showed you that. If I didn't, I will make a video about it. I'll just have to look it up. I haven't prepared anything for this. <laughs> I'm just going from my mind right now. Um, so it's a bit more relaxing to do. And uh, yeah, so that's one of the things. And the very last thing, and I think the more important one, is actually using what's integrated inside of your uh, terminal if you're already using Linux. So let's say you're using Ubuntu and you open this very scary box. You know, you, you, you press Ctrl Alt T because you heard somebody say that you should press it. You 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 press the combination Ctrl Alt T and it comes with this very scary thing. You're like, oh no, what is that? This is the terminal. This is pretty much the let's say uh, the most important thing you will have to master if you plan on using Linux like a power user. Because it, here's the thing, if you do not know how to use the terminal, you cannot do anything within Linux. So le let me zoom in on this one. So there's this really cool command within every Linux distribution. 
it's pretty much in every Linux distribution if you have the pages installed. The pages I'm talking about are the main pages. If you don't know what a main page is, you can open up a main page of the main page itself doing man man. If I run this, it will open up the man manual page for the manual pager utility. And you can learn pretty much anything about the manual pages. You can navigate them using J, J key for down and the K key for up, but you can also use the arrow keys. So I'll be using the arrow keys so you are more familiar with this. Um, one really cool thing is you can pretty much read up. So some of you may not like this, but let me tell you something. If, you know, let's say hypothetically you don't have any internet connection, but you have this really extensible system. You have a really powerful operating system where you can learn a lot of things. And you're like, okay, I want to learn how to use or want to list all the commands and want to learn them, how to use them and play around with them. This is what main pages are for. You can use main pages, which are pretty much the documentation for Linux that's built in. So a lot of major distributions like Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Debian or Arch or Manjaro or Kali Linux or Gentoo, well, I'm not sure about Gentoo, but a lot of major Linux distributions will have main pages or manual pages built in. I'm not sure if you can install manual pages, I would have to look that up, but I never came across a situation where no manual pages were present, so that's that. But if you don't have them on your system and you still want to read up using the manual pages, you actually can do it really simply. A lot of people, actually a lot of talented people, uh, have made websites just for this, so you can look up the Linux man pages. Or one really cool thing is the Linux, uh, what was it, the Linux documentation project, I think. Uh, yeah, the Linux documentation project, which is a website that provides pretty much, you know, a lot of documentation about how you can use the Linux operating system, so it's another good resource if you really want to use that. Again, it's up to you. You can have a look at the trusted guides, non English info, mirrors. There's a bunch of stuff you can do in here, but a lot of people have sort of document updates and such. But there are a lot of things you can actually do instead of using the Linux documentation project, which is a really good resource. Um, so what you can do, you can actually look up Linux man pages, as I mentioned, and you can, you know, you can pretty much open the first one and you'll be able to look at different sections or search for a command. So let's open up the first section and it will take a while and you have a bunch of these commands here. As you can see, it's a really long list. So if you want to learn about any command, let's say detox, I don't know what that is, so I can open it, I can read up on it. And what you will notice is that the structure is still the same. Um, so let, let me show you something. I don't think I have detox installed, but let's see. I don't have it installed. But again, you can either use the website for the searching up the next man pages to learn, which is a really good source of learning, or you can just, let's say, want to learn about how to use them. So you can open up the main page for them, just like that. And it will show you a bunch of stuff you can do with them, what it is, what it can do, what you can add and how it will look. And they show you various kinds of options and various kinds of settings you can apply using the command line utilities, which is really cool. This is actually one of the major reasons I was able to learn a lot about Linux uh, commands. And the more you actually, and there's actually, that's actually one really cool thing, and the very last thing I'll mention, um, when it comes to learning Linux and being really good at it, you just have to use it for a long time. If I can recommend you something, back up all your data, back it up, everything, uninstall Windows, or use Linux inside of a VM for all the things you wanna do. Set up a virtual machine with Linux in it, 
use it force yourself to use it for as long as possible if you feel tired don't wanna do it it's okay close it down go play your games or watch a movie whatever then come back to it and get yourself in it again the more you practice it physically and practically the quicker you'll be able to learn and that's how i managed to learn Linux to the point where I know a lot of things about it and I already have set up a few servers and such and I need to get some hardware first and once I get the hardware I will show you guys you can set up your own storage server which I really need to set up real soon because I'm soon running out of storage for well I still have around 400 gigs so that's fine but still I am worried that I'll run out of storage for my videos like this and I really want to keep high quality backups of these videos so that's that I'm not saying that I couldn't download them from the YouTube page at 720p, which is that, which is what I use anyway. But to be honest, 720p isn't high quality anymore. It is decent, don't get me wrong. But a lot of people have switched to 1080p, and I would like to do that as well. So yeah. Um, again, the Linux man pages integrate into your OS are a really cool thing. You you can read up on it. You, you don't have to be afraid, J just read, that, that's what I can give you as a recommendation. You, you just have to read, if you don't want to read, look up YouTube videos, there are a ton of really good sources online that you can use to learn about Linux. You can do a, a lot of things actually just by watching YouTube videos and following along. One of the really cool things of actually using a virtual machine for learning Linux is if you screw up, you're not gonna lose any of your data. You can just wipe the VM, wipe the virtual machine, make, create it again, install Linux again, and start over. It's far less, you know, stressful if you're running in a VM because you have that peace of mind that all your data is safe. So just in case your VM stops working, or your OS inside of DVM stops working, you you still keep your data, which is really important and really cool. I actually edit all my videos within Linux, so my entire work environment, like me writing code, uh, making all these small programs and scripts, I am able to do all of this inside of Linux. So I pretty much moved all of my workflow to Linux anyway. And if I need Windows for something, it's really easy for me to spin up a virtual machine and using that if I really need to. So yeah. Again, links to all the forums I mentioned today will be down there in the description. You pretty much have no excuse to not learn Linux. If you learn Linux, you will become a more valuable asset to a lot of people. Because not a lot of people know how to use Linux. You'll be surprised how many people don't know this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say for today. I just figured I'll make this video because some people were asking about this. So yeah, it's here. Hope you guys are happy and I will hopefully see all of you guys in the next uh, video. Not sure when it will be, but I, I will try my best to, uh, to do it so that we can actually, you know, uh, do a lot more stuff that, that, that is more interesting than uh, just you know learning about Linux for my videos so again thank all of you for watching thank you for 200 subscribers and please subscribe share this video around it, it really helps me out a lot and I'm and I am really hoping that we can get it to up at least 1,000 subscribers I'm really giving it my own into these videos and I would gladly appreciate it so yeah, thank all of you for joining me today. This video was a bit of a, on the longer side, but it was hopefully worth it. So thank you again for joining me today. Make sure to like, subscribe, share it around, stay safe, have fun, and I will see you guys in hopefully the next video.